Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and um, I'm at home vlogging, darling. And honestly, it's getting real late, but I decided, you know what? I wanted to do this last video because I was on Instagram being nosy and I was looking at Beyonce's uh, Instagram profile photos, things that I haven't been watching as of recent because my life has been hella busy. Um, that's number uno. And also, I just wanted to see what content has she been giving her followers. I wanted to see if she was going to give us something new, vibrant. Because we're like, what, halfway through this Renaissance World Tour? And honestly, I've been telling you guys, if you guys don't know, or if you're new to my channel, I've been telling a lot of the people who've watched my content that Miss Beyonce is giving out a lot of duplication. And it's really a horror story how much people have been paying. Like, I'm hearing they're paying two and $3,000 for concert tickets, and she's giving out duplication. Anyhow, um, today in this video, I wanted you guys to know that I did a video on Miss Beyonce and we were talking about um, her giving out um, signs of gang affiliation or she was wearing her um, mask over her face or her formation hat with, you know, basically a mask on. Honestly, when I saw her wearing it, I feel like what Miss Beyonce is doing as of recent is doing a lot of recreation. As a matter of fact, I want you guys to know exactly what photo I am talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the photo off of her Instagram channel and make it the uh, thumbnail. So you'll know exactly what photo I'm talking about. Okay. But um, yeah, uh, a lot of recreation Beyonce has been doing. And she's giving me um, vibes of either this ski mask or this Ku Klux Klan wear. You know, and either way, you know, whatever hour you go down, her recreating, it's really giving a horror story. You know, it is really a horror story. Honestly, when you think of a ski mask, you think of this is a sticker, sticker, I need them bags for that money. You know, she's actually been rapping about stuff like that before. Also, when you think about a mask over your face, you also think about Ku Klux Klan burning um, the things that they've done to people of uh, minorities, women and men of color. And the thing is, why would she want to embrace that ideology, especially since she's a person of color? And her children, oh my goodness, you can see it in their hair, their structures. They look absolutely like their father, Jay-Z. So, you know, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand where she's going with her creation, but I do know this Renaissance world tour, it needs a lot of support. One of the things that I can um, brag about with Miss Beyonce is that she is giving us different um, costume wear. And honestly, that appears to be one of the great things that Miss Beyonce is doing on this Renaissance tour. She knows how to change clothes. She changes clothes and she goes. But the thing is, you know, even though she's given us that, we need her to change clothes and do something different. And if Beyonce and Jay-Z go on the On The Run tour and give us uh, something that's like which she's already done already... But name it something different. I am literally going to be out here fainting because people are going to be paying two and three and four thousand dollars. Now, at this point, if you are a mega fan of Miss Beyonce, you're like, OK, if I choose to pay four thousand dollars just to see her again, repeat what she's already done. That's my business. And I'm going to say to you, you're absolutely right. It is your motherfucking business what you're going to spend your money on what you embrace, what you support, you know, what behaviors Beyonce is seeing is respectable. Honestly, recently seeing her with her legs cocked open, seeing that she wants to go missing, how she worked a nine to five job, you know, and I, if she's basically going through this human trafficking scheme, it's really been a thriller. But what's really interesting is that Miss Beyonce, well, She's bringing along her daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, on this whole Renaissance World Tour. And her daughter gets to dance to assassination of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. As she discusses Mama Tina, as if Solange knows it's getting ready to be assassinated. That, to me, is a thriller. Absolutely. A horror story living out. So, a lot of the content, as of recent, to go back to what I'm saying has been a horror story with Miss Beyonce. 
But if you like it, well, then I am going to continue to make content about it. Because, you know, if you like it, I love it. But I'm going to point out the obvious, okay? <laughs> I ain't blind. I see. So, with that being noted, I'm going to talk about it. Anyhow, I'm going to end this video. And um, just get ready for bed. Oh, I feel like I want to yawn right now. <laughs> but, yeah, I want to get ready for bed. So, I'm going to end this video. Peace, love, and happiness. Um, I've been doing a lot of, you know, talking. So, hopefully, it comes out correctly. And if so, comment, like, and subscribe. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. Bye.